outdoors in the warmer weather, we're being reminded to be on the lookout for ticks because experts say this could be an especially bad year. And in addition to Lyme disease, there's also concern over another potentially dangerous virus. Family physician Dr. Rob Danoff is here with the details. Good morning, Dr. Good Rob. Morning. Good morning. So, is it going to be a bad tick season? All, I mean, we keep on hearing stories that it will be. You know what? It's true, unfortunately, and we can trace it to the acorn. And I'll tell you why. Because last year in the fall was a mast year, a huge year for acorn production. Why is that important? Because mice, which ticks, you know, hang on. They're like tick taxis, uh -huh. feed on acorns. So a lot of mice survived over the winter, as did squirrels. So what happens is there's more mice around, and then ticks, they have a blood meal from a mouse. And if a mouse is infected, the tick then acquires that infection. Okay. And then later on, when they reach for a human, they can then infect the humans. Ugh. So, yeah, so we're worried. There's a lot of mice around, white footed mice and squirrels, and we're mm. concerned ticks are just going to blossom, and we have to be very careful. Dr. Rob, we always hear about Lyme disease, but there's also another virus. I want to make sure I get it right. It's Powassan virus. What, what's that? You know, it's been around. This is a tick borne illness, and it's potentially spread by the same type of tick as the Lyme tick, the deer tick. Okay. And so, what happens is it's a virus. We've known about it for 10 years. Now, it's rare, fortunately, and it's only been about 75 cases. There may be more. New Jersey's had three, Pennsylvania one, uh, New York 16. But here's the thing. It's more severe. While most people do fine, we believe, this affects the neurologic system. So it can affect Scary. your brain. You can get weak, headache, fatigue, have trouble walking, memory loss, confusion. And unfortunately, about 10% of those who have had it have died. So. Mm -hmm. If you get symptoms such as headache and fatigue and coordination problems, see your doctor. Now, I've got a weekend cabin in the woods, so how do I prevent myself from getting, because I'm paranoid uh, when I go out there. Well, Jim, no, you're smart. So here's some tips to take care of. So you're in the woods, so when you walk around high-risk areas, you want to be careful of wooded trails, but your backyard could have ticks. Also, check do a body check after coming in from the outside. You want to check for ticks to make sure they're not walking around. And they're so small, you have mm -hmm. to really check for them. You want to shower after coming in from outside. This way, if they're walking around, they'll just go off of you. Mm -hmm. And also, if you have any outdoor pets, you know, when they come inside, you know, they can hop on you in the furniture. The tick can kind of hang out. Also, if you would wear, Jim, light colored clothing, that would make it easier. And long pants and tuck in your shirt and socks in your, in your trousers mm -hmm. because you can see the tick walking up because they come up from behind. Use a sticky lint roller. I truly believe in this. I use it. If you rub it on top of your clothes, your hair, if the tick is walking, it will stick to it. You also want to use a repellent, and I have some here that you can put right on your clothes that will kill the ticks and wear an insect repellent for sure. Dr. Rob, despite your best efforts, let's say you still somehow get a tick bite, how do you, how do you remove it? Well, you know, it's kind of tricky. So here's the tick's body, and here's their head. A lot of people just like pull it right out and the head sticks in there. You okay, Jim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what you want to do is you want to lift the tick up, flip it, and then you take a tweezers really close to the skin, gently hold it and pull traction, and it will come out, it will release. Okay. You want to make sure you get the head out because that's where the saliva is, where this infection is. So, do that. Hmm. Some people light them, they use Vaseline, that doesn't kill it. So, again, tick check. As soon as you come in from the outside, I say have a tick room. In other words, mm -hmm. as soon as you come in from the outside, drop your clothes there. Here's a great tip. Put the clothes in the dryer for 10 minutes. It will kill any ticks that are on it. Okay. And then change to other clothes. Well, but this sticky thing works This thing well. worked last year. You told me about it. And even with this hairspray, I mean, it, it's, if there's anything in there, it will. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thank, Dr. You, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Rob. We Good appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. There, Jim, it looks good See, on look you. At this. Look at that. No See? ticks. Good. We'll be we'll right, be right back. back. Well, there's one little one over there. <laughs>